Hi, can I take your order? Uh, excuse me, in commanding my breakfast, has a meeting of minds already occurred in the jurisdiction of the intercom? Or must our contract be said to form later, in the place where I pull ahead and tend to payment? Uh, I'm sorry, sir? Uh, you, see, you see, I'm a British Lord, and you're an American corporation with offices all over the world. If I submit a request for an Egg McMuffin, how am I to know whether a contract has been made here, or in London, or New York, or in Amsterdam? Do you want an Egg McMuffin? This is Wendy's. Uh, Communications by drive through are comparatively new, and there's no clear rule about contracts made in this case. It's not comparable to the case of a contract made by post. So I submit that the contract must be said to exist at the moment of acceptance, when you tell me to pull my motor vehicle ahead. Oh, that's quite good. I I'm going to write that down. So... You want us to force this couple to put up with cricket balls crashing in through their window just because you like cricket. Need I remind you that in the summertime, village cricket is the delight of everyone. Nearly every village has, has a small pitch where, where the young men play and the old men watch. Yeah, but I really don't think... And now, after 70 years, a judge of the High Court has said, he said they can't play there anymore. Why? Because of the behest of some newcomer. A newcomer who is, who is no lover of cricket. Oh, I said that's good. Did someone write that down? Uh, yeah, yes, my lord. Oh, but you aren't even saying anything. You're oh, just going on about cricket. Uh, oh, my goodness. Ridiculous. I'm late. I'm late for my match. Oh. I will have the trifle to start with fish and chips and a Cornish pasty. Okay. And, um, look, do I, do I know you? You look kind of familiar to me. <laughs> well, I rather doubt it. You've never tried a case before the House of Lords. Oh my god. Oh my god. You are my favorite British <laughs> Lord. No way. <laughs> I can't believe it's you. I, I, uh, can, can I get your autograph? Um, um, it's, it's my pleasure. It's wow. Fun. I, I love you in that snail case where you um where you broke down the barriers to anyone so directly in fact you know. Oh. Snail case. Uh-huh. That was Donahue and Stevenson, actually. That was that was Lord Atkin. Oh. Really? Are I mean are you sure? I Quite. I was not yet implanted in my mother's womb when that judgment was penned. Oh, wow, I'm, I'm sorry, that's really embarrassing. No, no, not at all. I, uh... Well, actually, I, I wrote a number of important judgments myself, you know. Uh-huh. I, uh... I invented a stopper. I... I don't... Uh, I'm not. sure you've read High Trees? I, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't uh, even know that. Right then. Yeah. did a very foolish thing, you know, mortgaging her house to the bank. And, and up to the hilt, no less. You aren't even saying anything. A foolish thing up to I've the... told you not to speak out loud. I'm sorry. Ooh. Do you 
know what time it is? Why did you even call us here? You don't... My God! Have you always been a woman? How did you get in here? We've worked together for five years. <laughs> Am I the only one that sees that he's crazy? She's hysterical. Get her out of here. Get her out! What? Get out! What? Get out! Get out! Get out. Get out. Oh my God! She's hysterical! Fine man, Vinny. Fine man indeed.